Hi, this is Scott Schubert, and today I'm going to show you some really cool indicators that you can use to enhance your trading skill. And in our live trading community, I've seen some really amazing things that have been revealed recently by, especially by one of our traders who is a professional trader who gets extremely good results, and he has a lot of expertise in how to apply reading indicators in order to identify when to get in and when to get out of a trade. But the thing about indicators is that most traders have a kind of a misconception about the whole concept of what indicators are for. And they really do not replace the need to learn to read the market. And I like to trade with pretty much no indicators, but I use uh, one indicator to assist me with seeing the turning points on each time frame but just take a look and notice how these indicators kind of streamline the whole trading process and kind of make it look a lot simpler and easier now I'm gonna put a link to these indicators and this template so that you can install the indicators yourself and install the template and you'll be looking at the same thing that I'm looking at here and in some future videos we will explore some other really cool and amazing indicators that can help you with your trading. Just don't make the mistake of thinking that using an indicator is going to ever solve the challenges of trading by itself. So I have on here something called the non-lag dot and that's the series of dots and I also have on here slope direction line and just notice how these two indicators usually once they change colors they're not changing colors uh, very often and if you are able to see that from this point right here you can be long and it's never telling you that you should ever get out of a long then that works out pretty well now also on here I have a, a semaphore and this indicator kinda gives a little bit of an extra probability factor this is a repainting indicator and I noticed that a lot of traders have a, a misunderstanding about what repainting indicators are also. What a repainting indicator is, is that occasionally the signal that it produces may fail and instead of keeping that on the chart, cluttering up your chart, it will remove it. So it's a good thing that they repaint it when it fails. I've had some people just really go off on the idea of repainting indica indicators doesn't mean that the indicator is no good and uh, if you're thinking that you're supposed to enter when this indicator pops up well of course that's not going to be a very good strategy for any indicator but it gives you a little bit of extra probability and combine it with other things it just helps you to see that there's some extra confidence for you to enter if that and some other things are happening so by repainting, it means that whenever it does fail, it's going to remove the one that failed off the charts. And otherwise, you, it would be cluttering the chart with little failed signals. So when you look at it in hindsight, you see that there, you know, there's this little yellow three pops up. And every time it's on there, it's like if you're buying and selling at those threes, uh, you're having perfect results. But it doesn't show that there may have been some in between there that have failed and have been removed off the charts. Down here we have uh, two different colored st stochastics and in the bottom is is my multiple CCI. Now the purpose of indicators is to assist you with your skill and ability to read the financial markets and using technical analysis or using uh, charts and so what a lot of traders don't focus on is that you are supposed to first focus on the price pattern and then focus on indicators. Uh, this is a chart of the Euro Kiwi on the four hour time frame and right now I am long on the Euro Kiwi and I'm not exiting on it from this point right here and the reason for that is not based on any indicator. The reason for going along there is because there is a running flat correction here or irregular ABC and because the C 
form the end of a trend on a shorter time frame. This is the daily, and it formed the end of a trend on the four hour, and that's the reason for going long there. But but uh, let me just remove the candlesticks again so you can see the clarity of these indicators, and just notice that it's kind of showing you the, uh, where the market is going up and down, and uh, it is filtering out a lot of the noise and you can pretty much see that if you're short when it's orange and long when it's turquoise that that in itself is a pretty high probability thing now here's something that you might not know and that we're able to tell that without using these indicators that this point is not a point to go long that this point is not a point to go long and there was no question about that for us and uh, it's also not based on indicators, but just notice that uh, the non-lagging dot turns turquoise and the slope direction line also turns turquoise during these periods on this time frame. Uh, but back on the daily, this was uh, staying orange the entire time through all this period of time. And so there's never any time when it turns turquoise on the daily. That's because uh, those little retracements are only showing up on the four hour. So just notice we never had any thought of going long here or going long here. But right here definitely went long and it wasn't because of that semaphore either. Now notice on the one hour if you were to uh, be reading these indicators uh, there was a three semaphore there. There may have been some before that failed but there was one. They come up when they come up it's pretty likely that there could be a turn there. The uh, slope direction line turned from orange to turquoise and the non-lagging dot turned from orange to turquoise right at that point and right at that point the faster stochastics bounced off of the slower stochastics which here the colored stochastics turned from red to green and right at that point the faster colored stochastics also crossed to the upside. Now if you consider that during this period of time you want to be long on the one hour and if you're on any shorter time frame you'd only want to go long. So on the next shorter time frame during that period of time there was really only one point where this trend continued and it was in this area and there was a, a semaphore there and also your colored stochastics turned from blue to white and it actually did that twice but put the candles on there again you see that during this period of time the market just went flat and then it continued so either one of these points would be fine for going long if your stop loss is out of the way there uh, both of these points are telling you that that's the continuation of a, of a trend now as I've shown in some previous videos one of the best ways to extract profit from the market and not have a lot of losses is first of all to wait until specific things happen and don't jump into trades all the time but second thing is if you confirm the direction of the market on one time frame and then on the next shorter time frame look for entries in that direction that in itself is one of the most important breakthroughs in trading that keeps you on the right side of the market and keeps you from entering a lot of losing trades. Just confirm the direction on one time frame and then enter whenever it continues in that direction on the next shorter time frame. Now obviously there's a little bit more to it than that, but if you can use indicators like this to help filter out a lot of the confusion and chaos and make things look visually a little, a little bit more streamlined and a little bit simpler then it can at least help you to feel a little bit more confident about entering trades. So you may have seen uh, indicators such as Heikinachi candles, parabolic SAR, which we can look at those in another video, but uh, I thought this one was really cool because it really does make the movement of the market look fairly clear and simple none of these indicators are going to actually be a trading strategy and what you want to do is determine the next 
trade without looking at any indicators based on the price pattern and then use indicators to help you to identify that entry. So try this out and see if it makes your trading a little bit easier for you.